So hey everyone, recently someone asked me in the comment, sir if someone is having pharmacovigilance experience and if they have to switch to clinical SAS role, will their experience will be counted? So let's assume guys in this scenario, you are having two or four year of experience on pharmacovigilance role and you want to switch to clinical SAS role. And why you want to switch? Because basically you got to know the demand and growth is more in clinical SAS role. You have a question, will my experience will be counted in clinical SAS role? So the answer is, if you have to count directly, so no if i have to answer directly that that will be no but indirectly yes or how i'm saying no and yes both at the same time so let me answer for this so if 10 people are there for the interview so out of 10 if three people are having some experience let's suppose on pharmacovigilance role they are having two to three year of experience and they are giving the interview for clinical sas role so if they are performing well in the interview their chances are very high to get selected because already they are having relevant experience now this is the first benefit getting interviews and getting selected if you are having similar experience now the other benefit is if you are working with the same company for two three or four year so they're gonna promote you early or they're gonna give you more hike because what i'm assuming if you are having already some experience so you're gonna perform better in the company okay compared to your colleagues and you're gonna handle the work also in a very well way so the chances will be very high that you're gonna get promoted so if you're working with the same company for two to three years so what will happen your manager or any other senior they will think like that instead of hiring someone else why not to give you this opportunity because you have already given stability to this company and already you are having some other role experience as well so your total experience is very high and it will come up in your performance as well okay so if you're performing well obviously the chances are very high to get promoted in terms of you know the pay as well in terms of the role as well so this will be the second benefit you're gonna get but for getting the second benefit you have to work with the same company for at least two three or four years so they will assume the employee is giving us stability second the employee is performing well as well and already you are having some other experience as well so instead of hiring someone else on you know the senior role or the next role they're gonna promote you this is gonna be the second benefit now here we have taken the example of pharmacovigilance role but you can take an example of any other role let's suppose even if you haven't worked in the CRO industry you have worked in some other industry and if you are planning to switch on this role clinical size role in that case as well these two points I have shared that will be applicable okay because what I'm assuming if you are having experience for sure it gonna be visible in your interview as well it gonna be visible in your performance as well in long term and that is what the indirect direct benefit you will be getting but I'll share you one scenario that one of the candidate who connected me for counseling so he was already working in IQEA for four to five years I don't remember it can be six years as well and he applied for IJP IJP means internally in the company you can switch to different role so he applied for IJP for clinical SAS role because he got to know the growth and demand is more over there so let's try it and he was eligible as well so he applied and in that scenario they were not taking him as an fresher they were taking him as an statistical programmer one or two it means they were counting two to three year of experience no doubt he was having more experience I think five to six but yeah they were taking that guy as in statistical programmer one or two i don't remember exactly but this was the scenario so in some cases they gonna count uh, some of your experience different role experience on clinical sas but in that case let's suppose company is hiring you as an one year of experience guy or two year of experience guy so for sure you are not having that experience so you have to learn more you have to spend more time and you know compare to your colleagues you have to perform much better because to match them you have to upscale continuously because they have actually spent two years on this role and you are coming just now but uh, on the basis of your existing experience company have given you this opportunity so you have to try your best to perform well so even this also happened company don't fully consider your existing experience but if it is six years they can consider two to three year but this scenario is basically maybe i think in ijp only or you know out of 100 percent this scenario can happen only 20 to 30 percent or max 40 percent 60 percent of time company gonna take you in as an fresher and if you're performing well they're gonna promote you early so compared to your colleagues you got hired as an fresher but compared to your colleagues you're performing well so rapidly you're gonna get promotions okay you can reach to the higher roles easily on top of that the salary will be also growing at the same time so guys i hope you got your answers and that's all in today's video let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone and thank you everyone